Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very short video. I'm just going to show you something new that's uh, recently appeared on my version of Access. Um, I wish I could tell you exactly what version build number this happened on, but per the usual, the Access dev team release notes uh, with regards to Office 365 updates, uh, version updates, is non-existent. Um, what do I mean? <laughs> What I mean, let me just briefly show you before we dive into the rest, but if we just do MS365 update history, and I have links of, to the, the website on my website, um, but if you come here, you'll see here, you can easily find the update history for MS Access 365 or MS Office 365. And if you go through it here, you'll find the different builds and you can actually go uh, by channel and you can look at the individual release notes so you can scroll through this and you can see exactly what's been updated version to version to version if you haven't noticed while I'm scrolling you will not see any entries for access uh, the last one I think was years ago um, and I don't know why basically the access dev team is not supplying information as to what the hell they're updating each time there's a new release, which is flabbergasting. Um, for this, you have to look at the Access blog, the official Access blog. Let's see if it'll come up. Yep, here. And it seems to be basically on a monthly basis, somewhat, uh, give or take, they put up a post about release issues that they fixed. Um, it's hit or miss because there are features that have been released that aren't even in here. So as far as documenting what they're doing exactly day to day, week to week, month to month, uh, it, it's very hit or miss. And there's lots of stuff that we're left in the dark and just no clue. But that wasn't the point of today's discussion. Um, we all know documentation is horrible from Microsoft and even more so from the Access Dev team. There's no shock there. Um, and that's why I'm making this video. I wanted to just illustrate something that popped up and could be inter of interest to some of you. Uh, I'm just going to come here. I'm going to do a new database. Doesn't make a difference here. I'll just call it testing. And we're just going to open it up. And even though there's no code, I get a disabled content a warning. It makes no sense, but sure. So let's enable it. And what we're going to do here, just for fun, is we're going to create a new query. I'm going to switch to SQL view. And I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to select the date as today's date. Okay. It really doesn't make a difference. I just need a query. I'm going to close it and save it. That's fine. And as you can see, it's just a simple query. Okay. It works though. That's now what I wanted to show you today, however, which, which is nifty is if you come here and right click on the query, we now have the option here of going straight to SQL view. So you no longer have to pass by the design and then switch your view to SQL, which in this case is automatic because of the type of query it is. But now you can just directly say, I want to go directly to SQL view, saving you the hassle. Now that was a bad example. So let's go here. We'll do an application parts. We'll just drop in the contact. It doesn't make a difference. It's just for illustrative purposes. So let me do this over again normally we'd have design view. We go into design view and then we'd switch into SQL view. It was this extra step and it gets to be very tedious. And there are queries that you want to go directly into SQL. If you go through design view, it will actually mess it up. Um, so it is nice now to be able to right click and do SQL view and go straight into it. No longer needing the design view, bypassing it completely. So I just want to bring that to attention to you. Uh, just a small little improvement. Um, I don't know if they're going to push this into older versions. It seems that the access dev team basically doesn't look back anymore at all. Um, so I have a feeling that anyone that has perpetual versions or older versions, um, I have a feeling you're out of luck, but as far as Microsoft 365 is concerned, at least for you, you're going to benefit from this new feature. So, um, yeah, let's stop there. Have a great day, guys. I hope this is something you haven't seen. Hope it's something you can utilize. I sure know I could. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, per the usual, like, share, subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. Any support you can uh, show my channel. Take care, guys.